Welcome to the Flower Power Not So Hour. Welcome back, friends. Today we're gonna make pumpkin ravioli with pecan sage butter sauce. This one was kind of difficult, but it definitely paid off. Let's do it. The filling was pretty simple. First, I caramelized some onions. That boy hungry. And I sauteed some mushrooms and some butter. I had to use the rest of my pumpkin from the cookie video, so after a million years of drying out the pumpkin, I added the onions and mushrooms along with some nutmeg and salt. You want to dry out the pumpkin a lot so the ravioli doesn't fill with moisture. It also makes them pop when boiling. Mix it all up and taste it to see if it needs anything. Salt. On a clean surface, get your flour out and start making your dough. Make a little well in the middle for your ingredients and don't swear as much as I do when it breaks. I guess I'm not the hero we wanted, just the hero that needed. If you like that pun, make sure to donate. <laughs> Knead the dough for about 2-3 minutes and keep adding flour until it's not ticky. And then after letting it rest for about 30 minutes, split it in half and then get to rolling. Roll and fold it a couple times before trying to roll it thinner. Add flour when it becomes sticky so it doesn't fall apart. Then do it again for the top layer. Ravioli sheets should be pretty thin, unlike me. Thick is beautiful. Then take your pumpkin mix and scoop out about a tablespoon portion on your dough sheet, about half an inch apart or so. You want enough space so your filling doesn't spread out. Lay your top sheet on top and then get to cutting. Grab a fork and go crimp work on your raviolis. Cut off the excess and you got yourself a square. It's a beautiful. Thanks for your sauce. Toast up some pecans before taking them out and chopping them up. Just go nuts. Melt your butter and unlike I did, wait till it turns brown. Add your sage, brown sugar, and let it simmer while you boil your pockets of pumpkin perfection. Boil some water and make it seawater. And you could probably fit about five or six ravioli at a time. And it'll take about two or three minutes to cook. Throw on some of your sauce and you're good to go. Other than wishing I let the butter cook down a little more, the ravioli was amazing. Really good flavor, and the sage in the sauce was really good. Why do I always look mad when something's good? Anyway, thanks for watching. Come and follow me, friends. Hope you have a delicious day.